Ladies and gentlemen, it's our pleasure to bring up our next person, Ms. Peaches and, yes, Congresswoman Brenda Lawrence. Give it up, please. I want to say good evening. Thank you, students, uh, for allowing me this time during this moment in history that because of John Conyers, we are celebrating the life and the legacy of Martin Luther King. I want to say something, another colleague of mine who is dancing with the angels right now, and that's Elijah Cummings. Yeah. And he said something that resonates with me every day. He said, what we do today is the message that we send to a future that we'll never see. How we treat our children is a message to the future that we'll never see. So we're here today because we're honors, honoring the legacies of some amazing people, but because we know what we do today for our children will be what speaks about our time of life in this world. I am so glad to be here to, to take this time to honor an amazing woman. I serve on the House, I'm chair of the Women's Caucus in Congress, and I know for a fact the role of women in America, in our democracy, in our community, in our churches, in our homes, are so often not given the respect and dignity that they need. But it has never stopped a woman from doing the work that she needs to do. And I have here an opportunity, that's an applause, men applause. I have the opportunity to introduce, we call her Peaches Anderson, a UAW woman and, a, and an activist who have shown up to do the work. And when I asked her what is the one thing she wanted you all to know about her, is that she has a responsibility to her community. And she feels it an honor every time she shows up to do the work. And so it's with great honor that I bring to you and present to her the, the dream, the Dr. Martin Luther King Legacy Award. And it is for a retired UAW, she looks too young to be retired, international rep and a warrior for civil and voting rights and equality for women the first female president of the Retirees Council of Canada. UAW Local 600, you in the house, make some noise. It is with great appreciation that we thank you for your many years of hard work and dedication and service to our community. And woman to woman, I stand on your shoulders. God bless you and thank you. Thank you, thank you. First of all, I would like to, to give honor to God, who's the head of all our lives. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be standing here today. But I am so proud to receive this award. And I just want to say, be proud of yourself, because you all are here today. Give yourself a round of applause. <laughs> Michael had told me when I come up here, he just, we got a couple of minutes. I can't get long winded, but I'm not today. Born and raised right here in the city of Detroit at Herman Kiefer Hospital. How many of you all know about that? All right, I know it's a lot of young folk in here, but I'm glad to see our young sisters and brothers here that is going to continue to struggle the rights because they could be somewhere else. It's not just about me. It's from my heart that I say to all of you, we're going to be there for any and everybody Yes, I retired years ago, 10 years to be exact, from the UAW. I worked 39 years and four months before I retired. But it was a strong life, so I was there with the struggles right here in the city of Detroit. But continue, young folk. My hat goes off to you all. My feet are walking for you all because I want you to continue the struggle that you all are doing. But please, remember, you put him first and then you come second. He got all the power and he's going to give us the will to do everything that we can. 
But first of all, just think about it. Keep your head on straight, young folk. Continue to be yourselves, and we'll always be there for you. I love you. God be with you. And thanks to all the people from the UAW that are here today. I really appreciate all your support. And I look around my secretary that was here from the local. Just, I'm just very proud and I know that it's things I would love to say, but they're gonna snatch me off the stage first. Okay, God bless you all and love you. Safe travels home. Thank you so much, what a pleasure. Put your hands together for them all once again, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we have a very...